Welcome back guys to a new video. Now today is update day for Ark Survival Evolved on the Xbox One and the PS4. I'm so happy I can finally bring you guys this video because we've all been waiting so long for the Dino TLC Phase 1 and also other cool things such as Creative Mode. This will be version 771 on the Xbox One and version 520 on the PS4. And in today's video, I'll be giving you all the news you need to know with the patch notes, such as bug fixes and all the other cool new stuff that's going to be added, as well as some news that we do have from Jen on Twitter, who works for Wildcard, who made Ark Survival Evolve, basically. So if you guys do enjoy today's video, make sure to drop a like and subscribe if you are new to the channel. Seriously, another massive thank you for all the support. I say this like every single video but it's like i'm just so shocked about how much support you guys are giving so thank you for that but anyway we're going to be starting off with the video on the news that we do have from jen so jen said the xbox patch tlc phase one is in certification and we'll share more once we hear um obviously more about what, when they can deploy the update on the xbox one ps4 is still under the qa process so the Xbox patch is in certification, so usually when things are in certification, they mostly will be released later on in the day. That's why, um, and they did say that the update was going to be either the 22nd or the 23rd. So hopefully now that it's in certification, we'll be seeing it today. Hopefully there'll be no delays as well, so it is tomorrow, but most likely we'll be seeing it um, the on the 22nd today. Now, if you're worried and you're on the PS4 saying, oh, oh it's still under QA process, we're not going to get it, we're going to be getting so much later, the gen has actually been given um, this news on Twitter, which is PS4 certification process is much shorter and easier than Xbox. It won't be too much longer for the PS4 to also be ready. So there is a slight chance the update on the PS4 could be a little bit later than it is on the Xbox, but not that much longer because, as she says, as you can see on the screen, the certification process is much shorter and easier for the Xbox. So let's hope that both updates do drop today and not the 23rd. Even if it is one extra day, it isn't that much of a you know big deal. But there's a big chance we'll be seeing the Xbox One today. And there is still a chance for the PS4, so don't worry about that. So Jen did say, I've just finished moving the patch notes in. Um, so if you haven't read them from when the PC was updated, you can read them here. And she also did all the different changes from what the Xbox One and the, well, basically the console has compared to the PC update. So we're going to be scrolling down now. So important notice regarding the upcoming turret change. As of version 771, turrets will be a hard number limited to 100. This means that you will not be able to build over 100 turrets within a 10k unit radius. However, existing setups with over 100 turrets will still function as normal until a future date, which is yet to be announced when we will enable the hard limit. Um, so right now, when this update does go live, um, th this is going to be like randomly selected and like through the turrets that are over the 100 limit from functioning. So let's say like um, you've got some turrets that you haven't moved out of the 10k unit radius. There'll be randomly selected turrets that will just stop working from like they just won't function if you keep them in there. Um, so we, if, if you try and put turrets down over the radius before the update drops, um, you'll be okay. But if after the update drops, you try and put them down it won't let you but if you still have them um then uh, down already then it will uh, they'll stay there but then there'll be a date announced which is going to be in the future where the hard limit will go um live on the xbox and the ps4 and then all those turrets outside that radius will not work so i don't recommend doing it anyway guys it's just it's just a waste of time you may as well keep your 100 turrets in the 10k radius so then you don't have to worry about your base being raided if you're wondering why I'm only reading off the Xbox patch notes, is it's because the PS4 and the Xbox always have exactly the same update because it's console. Sometimes they might have the odd thing that's different, but right now it's all the same. So things you've already seen before, um, which you can pause the video if you would like to to read through, is around is all the Dino TLCs that are going to be coming: the Recoptodon, the Gigantopithecus, aka the Bigfoot, the Dire Bear, the Dire Wolf, and the Rex. And as I said, you can pause the video if you need to. Now, we're actually going to be going through some of the, um, the the bug fixes and balances and stuff because some of it's the same as the PC, but lots of the stuff as well is just, uh, I can't even say that word, specific, that took me so long to do that, to the console. So, if you do see things you know already and you've seen on my channel, then I'm sorry, but I'm just going to go through everything just in case anyone's missed it. So, Dragon's Fire Breath, direct impact damage reduced by 50%. Fix the bug which caused Rock Drake and Wyvern eggs to sink below their nest over time. 
Added a rock golem, sa um, golem saddles to scorched earth loot table. Added basilisk and uh, the crab saddles to the aberration loot table. Uploaded creature stats and now uh, now display movement speed and melee damage. Fix the case where certain creatures will get stuck under the map slash inside the map when colliding with larger creatures. Most noticeably seen in the rock drake and the basilisk. Fix an issue which was caused causing a desync with the reaper's collision. No longer needed pheromone to claim reaper kings. Moz chops will no longer flee when told to ha harvest dino corpses. Fix the bug where some creatures will not be able to attack at a low, service, uh, low server FPS. Brontos and Paris' breeding time have been increased by 50% equivalent to the Quets. And all of this here you um, can read through. I don't really want to read it through again because I think I've said it like 10 times. But it's just about the um, a big nerf that's happening for the uh, for the HP gain per level and uh, base HP of the Bronto, the Parasite, the Tuso and the Donkey. So you obviously can read that on the screen right now. And the Stego plate resistance is reduced to 30%. Tech saddles no longer inflict raid damage, how you inflict torpor on a titan, crab or golem. General AI options for dinos to only attack conscious targets. Um, a stance added to uh, tamed dinos. Uh, a Fix the case where the uh, Pelagornis would use more well the uh, the, pe uh, the pe would use more weapons than just a fishing rod. Um, fixed fishing rod no longer working on the Pella. Tamed and wild uh, crabs no longer get stuck in a floating state by medium slash big sized dinos. The Gigantopithecus can now use the teleporter, so the Bigfoot can now go through it. The crab can no longer move when encumbered. Uh, fix the case which allowed rock drakes to glide infinitely. Uh, the Pego can no longer steal artifacts. That's an interesting one. Fortitude, uh, Fortitude now provides some resistance versus the effects of a Rex Raw. And this resistance carries on to the player-ridden uh, dinos too. And our Fortitude can prevent player-ridden dinos from being poop-stunned. Increase the amount of food um, that Achatina receives from cake to 500. Um, Dire Bear and Gigantopithecus have been added to Aberration. That's interesting there. Remove the ability to uh, place plant white and bear traps while riding a dino. Reduce the titanosaur walk speed by 5% and run speed by 20%. That is interesting. Corrected Bigfoot socket for dino uh, for, for desert goggle headgear. For creatures with targeted jumps, pressing jump again in midair will result um, uh, in the tame falling straight down to prevent any cases where the dino may un unintentionally bounce awkwardly. Um, the basilisk now damage uh, now damage foliage on movement to prevent them from getting stuck in trees, and the accuracy of their poison shot has been improved. The giga um, is no longer raged by full damage. Oh, that's interesting. The giga's rage mechanic is now based on damage taken before reduction from internal sources. So that is interesting. So there's a bit of a giga change going on here. Reduce the respawn rate of the basilisk and lower the nearby player check. Fixed a case where the rock drake would not be uh, correctly un uh, will not correctly uncloak. Increase the phoenix health, stamina, and weight, and adjusted the gorilla boss so it now matches the island. So that was everything that is going to be coming to the console on the that side of things um, on and, and obviously the PS4 and the Xbox One. So it's going to be very interesting to see how that all goes down. Um, and now moving on to general, which some of this stuff, again, as I said, a lot of it will be on, on the PC as well because it's just the general stuff of the update. But there will be some different stuff that is only to the console. So this is going to be adding creative mode building or the creative mode setting which you guys know and if you want to find out how to use creative mode there is a video on my channel but I will be doing a separate one just for the console which will be coming up as soon as the update does go live. Host option to disable fog. Um, added, which the disable fog is the thing everyone has been waiting for for so long. I'm surprised it's taken them so long. Um, added messages to try blogs with information about uploading and downloading creatures. Made a respawning player not targetable by wild AI. I've been talking about this for so long. It's needed to happen. Um, option to hide learned engrams. Players can now directly go from a proning to crouching position. Ambient sounds now have their own volume slider. And uh, created a, a use last pin code so players can uh, quickly access secured structures. 
server option which makes the silencer hide the name of the player who has killed you from the kill message and tribe log um, enabled by default on console disabled on PC official PvP servers um, server option to make supply crates random um, axis mapping is now taken into account when underwater cooldown to added um, added to tribe ch changing their name five second character and base immunity added to ORP service when first logging in Fix the collision issue affecting some dino gates that are allowed unintended entry. Fix multiple client side and server crashes. So a lot of this stuff that I'm reading through here has already been in the PC patch notes on general as I did say. But I think a little bit later on is when we get into some more different stuff for the console. Fix multiple exploits that allow players to get through the mesh or world barriers. Fix the bug which allowed structures to be powered infinitely. Fix the bug which allowed players to gain a lot of height when using the zip line. Fix the bug with the uh, grappling hook which allowed it to be reeled in much quicker than intended. Fix the bug that made the tech sniper not lose any element when zooming in. Um, fix tech projectiles no longer damage uh, structures with, with splash damage after the projectile, projectile has travelled for 5,000 units. And tech projectiles no longer explode mid-air. That's interesting. Fix the bug which allowed players to exceed the boss arena caps. Fix the bug which allowed players to speed up the baby raising process for water creatures. All tech structures now have the, an element cost, though in some cases it may be in the form of shards. Smoke grenades and poison grenades now have a different impact sound to dis dis distinguish between them. Um, railings can no longer be built with distance of enemy uh, within distance of enemy foundations. Demo timers are now hidden behind the extended info option. Can no longer um, can can longer prevent sorry um, prevent turrets targeting with cables. Can no longer um, handcuff a player to a tech bed. Fix an issue where the tech teleporter built on pillars slash ceilings would push players and creatures beneath it. Fix the crash which caused uh, by using force tame when riding a dino. Improved red crystal collisions so they could be more uh, harvest more efficiently by an anki. Corrected the um, the aquatic uh, aquatic mushroom description. Remove collision from glow sticks, which would cause movement problems with certain creatures. Fix multiple clients slash, slash server crashes. Fix an issue where some zipline anchors were outside of replication range, preventing them from being used. Fix a uh, case where um, which would allow players mounted on certain creatures to throw slash place CS4 a lot uh, a CS4 C4 a lot further. Sorry about that. Corrected an incorrect icon, icon with a seeker dossier. Fix the case uh, where teleporting outside of a large base with the tech teleporter would show foliage that was harvested. Fix multiple map issues, uh, holes and collision. Fix an issue where some foliage would not replicate approximately on aberration. Turrets now respect enemy foundation placement rules, so there is a 30 second spin up time when powered by a battery. You can now scroll the uh, the chat box using a game controller by holding uh, the back action wheel and selecting the scroll chat box option. This will be highlighted on chat box. To exit this mode, just press uh, um, the back button on your controller B slash circle. And uh, tribe ownership in hardcore mode is now transferred to the next person in line when the owner of hardcore tribe is killed. Uh, there's a bit of a mini map overhaul happening, so we'll receive a new me marker, which is easier to identify. Me marker now tracks rotation, increase number of point of interest map markers to 30, change font for map markers to avoid overlays, and the me marker now uh, um, marker and points of interest markers are now colourable. Um, so it's good that the map is actually getting a bit of a change because I feel like the mini map hasn't really had the love for a while and it's needed a bit of a change. Um, so the final few things, Triblog now displays when people have been kicked, promoted, demoted, claim, unclaim, upload and download a creature. Um, players are automatically expelled from tribes when they die in hardcore. Large underwater rock features on the island can now be built on. Um, reduce cloning costs by approximately 40% across the board. Providing players with the option to flip their tribe log so they can either select to have the most recent messages at the top or the bottom. Torches will work similarly to flame arrows versus plant Y traps. Distinguish the sound effect for smoke grenades um, and poison grenades um, when hitting the ground. So a lot we've already seen a lot about that up there. Um, you know, a lot of this information up there already. Uh, reduce tech uh, tier vacuum crafting requirements. Increase their damage resistance and made it so the metal hatch frames are snappable to them. Spyglass now functions correctly on tame reapers. 
tribes now can see the demo timers of their own structures. Added an option um, checkbox for ex to for toggle extended um, HUD uh, info that will make um, which will make press and hold map button um, a toggle rather than a hold. And updated Ragnarok with various fixes and tweaks. That is what everyone is wanting. That was the one I was waiting to get to at the end um, because there was so much to talk through in this video and I'm so, I, I'm, I'm shocked how I do that so uh, I go through with that without messing up as much as I do because usually I mess up a lot of things in life. Um, but anyway, updated Ragnarok with various fixes and tweaks is the one I know a lot of people have been talking about because of the sense of people calling it Ragnarok. We haven't actually got um, specific notes for what the fixes and bugs are so let's hope um the what well, well, the bug fixes are so let's hope that they do get sorted and we do get some news on that when the update does drop and we can all test out ragnarok and see if things have actually really made a change but anyway i am going to be ending today's video um as i said if you are on the ps4 the notes are completely the same i just obviously read from the xbox one because that was the first one i loaded up and also um if you're on the ps4 the update could possibly come a little bit later than the xbox but there's still a chance it could be the same or just you know not too much later but anyway make sure to drop a like subscribe if you are new to the channel thank you for all the support recently guys and i'll see you in my next video very soon see you guys later Oh, 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 oh,